what's going on guys this is my first video so in this uh in this first clip you're gonna so we walk into the apartment building which the predator lives and we go to the security uh officer who works there he's not law enforcement but he does have authority over the individuals who live in the apartment complex and we talked to him and we gave him the information and that was the first interaction all over the place, I get copy right? one page that says he's trying to hook up with a 14 year old <laughs> it's kind of all you need isn't it mm -hmm. so what can you guys do over here about it like you a manager or something no i'm security oh the, even um, even better <laughs> so uh i'll give this to my boss and he'll give it to the manager probably be monday by that time that happens but if you go to the police, you arrested. Yeah, that's the goal. Stop. We're probably going to call them up shortly here. Maybe get them outside, have a little word with them when they're on the way. Yeah. And hopefully you not get shot. <laughs> I'll make sure I'm talking to some people here, make sure this is the guy. Okay, most definitely. He usually looks kind of messed up, but I mean, he's probably all relaxed here and everything. Trying to look good for the 12-year-old uh, girls. Yeah. Most definitely. All right, well, good luck, guys. And All right, thank you. I really appreciate your help, man. In this uh, next clip, uh, we ran into two people who lived in the apartment complex, and the guy, the predator who we were uh, looking for, he walked outside, and we asked them if they knew the guy. We showed them the information, the text he sent, and we told them to go inside and tell him that there's two little girls waiting for him outside. And out he comes. We'll be out here. Thank you so much. Yep. You probably won't come out to be honest with you. Yeah. Say two girls are looking for him. <laughs> That's <was> funny, bro. <laughs> All right, so we're at his home. We're at his lovely home. We got two very good bystanders helping us out. Uh. This guy's a tweaker. Mm -hmm. He wants to, wants to touch on those He's kids. Up. We report them to security, trying to get them kicked out. Uh, they're going to run something. We get that through Monday. We got all the info right here. We're trying to just get them outside. Have a little let's quick see if word. I, let's see a little bit. Fix it, bro. There he is. His name is Scott. We got a Scott. <laughs> we got a Scott. He's here to meet a 12-year-old uh, girl and a 14-year-old girl for naked body massages in the dark in the dark and he can't even stay still so how's he gonna give a nice massage you know? that's what i'm saying it's gonna be shaky see? come on scott ain't, just... ain't no way in hell he coming out this clip this is what you guys came for uh this is the initial interaction with the predator we uh it was a very subtle respectful interview with him um we read his text to him stuff like that unfortunately we did not get the first encounter on camera but we did get what we got, so hope you enjoy. Massages in the dark. What's that all about? They're, they're young, man. They're young. They're yeah. little girls that can't think for themselves. They were the only two suggestions on me. Yeah, I know. One of them was 12, though, man. You understand? A 12-year-old girl can't really make decision, good decisions for herself. You know that? I even told her... I need to think about it because I, I want to make sure I don't get in trouble and she said, you're not going to get in trouble. Well, you're not in trouble right so, now. You're not in trouble right now. We're just talking. We're talking. Man to man, we're talking. All right. So you wanted her little friend, uh, Anna, to come. Then you said, I'll give you naked full bod. I don't care how often. The more, the better. You were a little bit pushing on these new body massages, man. These were innocent, innocent little girls. You do understand that's wrong a little bit. I mean, you did acknowledge the fact. You said, I don't want to get in trouble. So you do know it was wrong. I, I drove all the way from Southeast Michigan to come find you and talk to you and have a word with you. You said, don't be nervous. You never said what body parts you were looking forward to the most when I massage your entire body naked. Why? I just want to know why, man. Just tell me why. Like, why did you think that was all right? Is it just, is it difficult to find girls of age? No. Uh, no, uh, he actually 
tried meeting with a 12 year old and 14 year old girl and engaging in sexual activities with them in the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and those girls went to me and I came out here to have a little bit of a discussion with them. I drove all the way from Southeast Michigan. Damn, what happened? So, so Scott here, I, they told me it's Scott, I'm not too sure. He, very, very sick messages that we've gathered. Very sick. Uh, so this Wait, girl, on Instagram or Twitter? Or? This is on a uh, app called Scope. It's just a chatting app, meeting people app. Uh, this is a our 14 year old girl, and she had a friend on her volleyball team named Anna. What the hell? Anna was 12 years old. He, want he called the bus up and wanted them to come over here, and he wanted to give them a full nude massage in the dark with oil and lotion. Yeah, someone need arrested. Dude. Yeah, just kind of taking care of business ourselves, you know. Oh man. He's, yeah, he mm -hmm. said uh, he's very forceful. I said. That's your choice. She's a little bit younger than me, so I don't know if that's okay with you. He said, I don't mind. We need to put, we need to put that pass in the prison. Yeah. Is it recording me? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, are, are you okay with being on it? Yeah. All right, we could blur your face out if you want me. Is he, um, is he in a good thing? You know what I'm saying? Huh? I have not noticed this. Uh, I don't understand. I just told you I don't have anything else to say. You have nothing else to say? Uh -huh. All right, Scott. Well, um... We're gonna have to get police over here, man. This is this is serious. I saw a grandfather with his with his young granddaughter. She's not safe here if you're gonna be doing shit like this, man. That's not cool, man. That's a very young girl. That is, I have an eight-year-old niece and I love her with all my heart and I would do any. And if, to be honest, if you were to target my niece, I would not be as nice to you right now as I am currently being. Do you understand that? Yeah. And I'm not gonna hurt. That's what the camera. The camera's for protection. The camera's for just to show, like you can't tell the police I'm hitting you in the face or something like that, or I can't say you're hitting me. This is for both of our safety. So I'm not gonna lay a finger on you. I have no harmful intent. I'm just here to talk, and I think you should speak with a police officer because I believe you genuinely have a problem. No, I don't. You do have an issue. You're going in? I do. Um, I'm going to say so. Okay. If he's done, he can be done. Nope. You can go in. You can go in, Scott. We're chatting up. Yeah. I'll live here, sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I called the police. So you did? So yeah. the they didn't answer us, unfortunately. So we, you have an officer on the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Can you show me the more them proof before? More proof? Yeah. Yeah, yeah please. You want me to hold that? I don't know. I don't want to get anybody sick. I'm not sick, but just in uh, case. I'm not sick Better safe either. than sorry. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. It's wild. When I, this happened, or we don't mind me asking? This happened over the course of the last three days I've been on. Uh, this guy's been. I don't think you have uh, social media content. I'm a deputy. Oh, I'm on YouTube as well. It's Mark Taylor Coon. Oh, you make videos? Oh, yes, I make all kinds of um, like often on controversial videos, more important videos. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's awesome, man. And you I, do you. And I do recording songs too. Like I record songs I talk about. I don't know if y'all do, but just tell the people what's going on. Uh, Martel, front, it might be a while. Martel, oh, I got you, man. T H A, cool. I talk on various topics with affectionness, woman presence. Yep. Yo. Martel, the cool. Is this you, my friend? 2.5k sub, man. <laughs> I got you with a subscribe after this. Oh, I got, I'll give it to him. I'll mm. give it to him. I don't like child abuse. I actually have no respect for child abuse. Yeah, it's disgusting, man. That's uh, why I'm out here, man. I have, I have an eight-year-old niece, and if it were her, oh. Oh, man, like, it was me. I don't know if I can say this. I might get attacked by this. I would yeah. destroy all pedophiles. Oh, I... well, put them in prison. Put them in enslavement camps. Show no mercy. <laughs> you know what? It's, you know what we gotta do? Make them use for cheap labor. You wanna know what I had a police officer tell me? He said if it was up to me, I tie him to the back of my truck and drag him through. <laughs> Show no mercy, man. Are this guy, he seems like he's got something wrong in the head, though. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. I almost want to feel bad, but I just can't. Hey, Twelve no, years can't. old. He said, that's, he said that's an early picture of him or something? I don't know. He, yeah, it, Security guard said it looked like a picture of him being relaxed. He confessed relaxed. when we confronted him, and he's very, he seems very guilty. Yeah, he, um, he instantly knew. 
instantly know what we were taking. That kind of typing thing. Yeah. Sucked I didn't get the first few seconds of it though. You know. Now definitely leave me a comment so we, um, I'm definitely going to watch your video so. Most definitely mm -hmm. my friend I got you. Yeah cause I'm against pedophile child abusers and all Excuse that. Me. I'm kind of careful like I'm looking at both sides of the spectrum. Hey my like, brother! Like, <laughs> like you know like with this Me Too movement being false out the fact of gay. Yeah. Like, false yeah. 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 That, that could be on the on That's That's why we take such a long cautious time gathering this stuff. We don't force nothing. He makes all the moves as he did in the text. Yeah, that's a sick. Because we don't want to get nobody falsely accused of nothing. We want to make sure we know who's who doing what. Mm -hmm. Both sides get sides of the story. That's how I look at it, like justice. Yeah, that was him. Yeah, it was that him. Was we confronted him. him, talked to him, and everything. It was him. Well, when y'all say it, you I'm going to get going. I got to go. No, you're good, man. Yeah, How's it going, night, man? Oh, you too, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yep. Yep. Children, man. Oh, yep. most definitely. I could not. You know, when y'all say can you go in there and get him and have him come out here, my friends, he, he, we were standing right there, and uh, my friend, he cut off, the, he opened the elevator door open, and he got off the elevator, he said, man, them girls out there waiting for you. He said, oh, okay, and heard that we came out the <laughs> room. Instantly came down. running out. That's huh? when he came out here to y'all. Yeah, yeah, instantly when he came out, I was like, so you trying to talk to 12-year-olds, huh? He was like, when he, before he came out here, he said he's gonna come out and tell y'all that he was not the house or anything. Yeah. yeah, we did. We were generous. Yeah, we just, we I just was wanted to talk. So did, he, so did he admit it? Yeah, he, yeah, he admitted it. He did. He did. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's disturbing, man. And a, a grandfather came through with his uh, very young and when he when he admitted it and shit, y'all got that on camera. Yep, yeah, got it on camera. Get that okay. on camera. Okay. Okay. He was very quiet. I'm not sure if we could hear him. I didn't get the first few seconds of Plus it. Plus, he's pretty poor spoken, so I had a really hard time understanding him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's just it's just crazy to think, like, someone who you, like, you never would know. Like, it could be your neighbor, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, you could talk to this guy for years and have no clue, like, what he does behind the behind closed doors. Well, I hope I made this complex a little bit, a little bit much of a better place. Yeah. Because no one wants that around the neighborhood or anything, man. Yeah, you know, man. That's just disturbing.